Oh I'm so hungry! My stomach is rumbling, and I have very little energy! What do I want to eat? I could have a salad and some fruit! Or maybe I want the leftover roast chicken and rice! Hum, or what about a big bowl of chocolate ice cream? Everything would taste so good, and I am so hungry! I think I will eat it all! While I make myself something to eat, let's talk about how all living things need to eat, in order to make energy to live! Humans, animals, and even plants, need food! That food is used, to help bodies grow, move, and to stay warm, by converting the food into energy! All of our food, from that healthy salad, to the indulgent bowl of chocolate ice cream, begins with the sun! We've learned about the Sun as a center of our solar system, and how our planet gets light, heat, and energy, from the Sun. The Sun is important in the growth of plants. Plants, through a process called photosynthesis, convert light energy from the Sun, into food energy they need to grow. That energy is a kind of sugar. A lot of other living things eat plants. Some living things eat only plants. They are called herbivores. Herbivores can be very tiny, like insects, and very large, like elephants. An herbivore gets its energy from plants, and plants get their energy from the sun. Other living things do not eat plants, they eat other animals. These are called carnivores. A carnivore only eats other animals. They get their energy from the fat and muscles, and other tissues of different animals. Some examples of carnivores are lions, vultures, and frogs. And lastly, we have living things that get their energy from eating both plants and animals. These are known as omnivores. Most humans are omnivores. Other omnivores are chickens, squirrels, and bears. Let's look at how this is all connected, by checking out this farm. At the farm, there is a big garden. The farmer is growing corn in the garden. These plants, are getting their energy using photosynthesis, which requires light energy from the sun. In the garden, there are bugs that like to nibble on the plants. The bugs are herbivores. They get their energy from the plants. To help control the bug population, the farmer has chickens. These chickens eat the bugs. But they also eat the corn that is grown in the garden. Because chickens eat both plants and animals, they are omnivores. Occasionally, a coyote might sneak into the farm and get a chicken. Coyotes get their energy from eating other animals, so they are considered carnivores. Whether a living thing is eating a plant, an animal, or both, the food had once gotten its energy from the sun. Well friends, I've worked up a big appetite, talking about how the energy in all animal and plant food, was once energy from the sun. The salad and fruit I'm going to eat, got its energy to grow from the sun. This leftover roast chicken, once got its food from eating both plants, and insects, which also eat the plants. And my dessert of chocolate ice cream, came from the milk of a cow who eats plants. Without the energy from the sun, I wouldn't be having such a delicious lunch. See you next time friends!